my name is Ipa Malhotra. I'm an, uh, a plastic artist, visual artist. I'm sitting in my studio, my art studio at the uh, Santa Fe Art Colony in Los Angeles. It's, it's part of the Arts District. It's been here for over 30 years. The colony was started uh, with a group of artists um, that needed space to live. There were many of these kinds of places in Los Angeles at the time. So. Oh, it's gorgeous. Yeah. Oh, it's I love your work. It's really wonderful. I see it on Instagram all the time, but of course I never get to see it in person. Ah. <laughs> I moved into the art colony in January of 2009. Oh, okay. I had just uh, gone through a divorce. I had been living in a previous place, and uh, yeah, uh, Larry and Midge. I don't know if you remember them or knew them. They lived they... here, and they told me there was a place opening up. I see. That's how you so, found it. So yeah, so I've been here for 13 years. Wow. Many of the artists that are still here and who are being evicted uh, after the purchase of the building recently by a large investor from Miami, they're leaving after having lived here for 33 plus years. And uh, Los Angeles has become prohibitively expensive for artists, for um, people in the creative world. There's a diaspora taking place in, in this area, uh, in, in the Los Angeles area, because housing has become so unaffordable. All you have to do is look around LA and you'll see there's thousands of people, literally over 50,000 people that are homeless. And unfortunately, uh, many of them are people in the creative industries. Your studio is really, really remarkable. Oh, thanks. Well, it's my How, home. I know. How long have you been here. there? Ten here. years. You live here with your boyfriend. He's also an artist, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. Oscar Zakinaula. Ustedes no pueden salir afuera en el mercado. Pero está preciosa. Pues sí, pero tómale una foto. Sí, le podemos sacar. Mira. Tómale una foto. Sí. Entonces, ¿dónde, dónde quieres que, Mira, dónde qué quieres que, que me ponga? Así que, bueno, tú te viniste a vivir aquí en el 88 sí. y eres impresor. Esa es tu profesión, ¿verdad? O sea, es de lo que vives, ¿verdad? Pues Pero se podría decir que, pues sí, es de ahí es donde, es el, donde, donde saco para el, ¿cómo le dice? The bacon, the bacon. <risa> el tocino, de donde gano el tocino. <risa> La impresión. El nopal press. Y aquí en este, en este espacio comenzó el Nopal Press, exactamente. ¿Aquí lo empezaste? Aquí lo empecé, sí. Órale, y luego te fuiste al centro. Ok, so this is a Quetzal bird. Um, this is part of my Endangered Species series, which I have. Um, I donate. Um, I love this piece. Oh, thank you. This is such a remarkable, And um, the string piece. represents that everything's connected, which is a reoccurring theme in my work, that everything's connected. Like, if they die, we die. Yeah. Right? That's Politically, all of this drama with the Republicans and the Democrats. I'm an independent voter, so I just feel like we're all connected. We're all one country. Get along, you know? We're all connected. Like, yeah. do things for progress for all people, not just your little... Right. And just the fact that we're destroying the environment just for an extra couple million for someone who already has billions, basically. Right. And it's just absurd to me. It's, it's heartbreaking. I've always been been fascinated with patterns. What happens when patterns overlap? Uh, I like the idea of uh, creating pictures. Like you start with one thing, you put something else over it, and you don't have two pictures, you have three pictures, or at least three different kinds of imagery. So uh, a, a lot of my work is about what happens when patterns start to fall apart, and this is what happens with the stencils. Uh, in, in many ways, it's, it's like what happened with COVID. We got used to the way things were. You have your days, you have your, your routines, and then everything got disrupted. Here you are. This is Sergio, Tom. Hi, Tom. Hi. We got you by About surprise. Three years. <laughs> when did you move in? Tom? On 92. It's a beautiful space. Yeah. It is really it's wonderful. Massive. Uh... Where are you going to move to? I don't know. I'm hoping I get space in the brewery. 
thought that this would be a good idea to record uh, what is happening here at the Santa Fe Art Colony as a sort of microcosm of what is happening to artists, not only in Los Angeles and California or in the U.S. It's happening all over the world uh, where there's been big uh, shift in the distribution of wealth and cities like Los Angeles, the large cities of the world, such as New York, San Francisco, uh, Mexico City, Paris, uh, all of these places are becoming almost exclusively for the millionaires and billionaires of the world. Obviamente es muy difícil tener un estudio en Los Ángeles, mucho, eh, mucho más complicado fue con el COVID y mantener un estudio en Los Ángeles donde las rentas subían eh, cada seis meses de una manera de una manera sí medio como que no podías digamos, me imagino ahora debe ser más caro todavía no como están los precios pero la, 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 la teoría de siempre era es, es que en lugares donde los artistas no tienen plata viven ahí y pintan en esos lugares donde sale más barato y después eh, 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 embellecen los lugares, los llena de gente con actividad y energía positiva y con mucha estética ca cambiada, pintando lugares, cambiando de estética de todo. Luego viene un cafecito de helado y hablen un negocito, una pizzería y así te empiezan a subir el alquiler claro. hasta después sí. dejarte afuera. Entonces eh, usan este, esta experiencia, pero bueno, también nosotros nos vamos adaptando muy, muy fácilmente, queremos pintar, queremos hacer arte y buscamos la manera de hacerla en otros lugares más baratos. ¿no? Ironically, this particular art colony is being touted uh, by the new owners as uh, an art colony, um, while at the same time driving the artists out with uh, outrageously high uh, increases in rent. My rent, for example, has gone up 270%. Some of the people here have had their rent increased by as much as 300 and nearly 400%. Um, it's difficult to find places. When this, when this uh, colony was first established, there were lots of such places in Los Angeles and artists had lots of choices to live in. Bienvenido. <laughs> Bienvenido. ¿Nos querés contar uh, sobre el espacio? Sí, bueno, ese es el estudio este, en la colonia de artistas que se llama Santa Fe Art Colony y yo estoy en el sótano, o sea, mi estudio y varios otros artistas también tienen sus estudios en el sótano y me siento afortunada de, ser, de formar parte de esta, de esta comunidad que ha servido como refugio y también un lugar, un lugar que ha brindado la oportunidad a los artistas de Los Ángeles para poder crear su obra artística. <música>